What if? Yes. This is the <clears throat> what if segment brought to you by Steppenwolf. He just wants to go home. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, poor thing. <laughs> All right. So this dropped uh, July 8th. Last week, just a few days ago, they uh, they gave us this. Well, we've had we've had a teaser trailer that's mm-hmm. been out since 2020. So it says that had been around, but we finally got a full length yeah, trailer. So and and we're going to take a look at that, and um, and hopefully I'll be able to sync it up <laughs> when I put this episode together. But I'll give it a try. Um, so th- there's this nice new poster, which actually I didn't realize that. Oh my God, oh. Gamora has Thanos's um, weapon there. And Spider-Man is Doctor Strange. So this will be the last performance of um, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, some of the others <clears throat> are not being performed by their their people. So, um, but this right. is what I found interesting. It says one question changes everything, and then in the tweet that they yeah. announced this, they said, "What if Killmonger saves Tony Stark?" So I'm I'm guessing that's Which is the in question. The trailer. Yeah. So uh yeah, let's Well just to yeah, so to give the background, you know, the history of this. Oh, you know, before you start Yeah, the, it starts automatically. Playing the trailer. Like just about everything else in the MCU, um, this is actually based on legit published comics that they started back in the seventies. Seems like I've read maybe half a dozen of these over the years, um, and I, I think there's there's a lot of them. But you know, they this is something that, um, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll probably have to um, look up the history on this. Somebody's going to correct me um, for for being wrong, but um, I, I want to say that this is one of the um, little just creative kind of products of um, obviously Stan Lee is involved in anything that Marvel Comics has ever published, um, but it was. Um, birthed out of a, a lot of the you know comics used to have letters to to the like you know letters to the publisher oh yeah right and i george don't, r martin don't think wrote they still one. do this right yeah where you, no, can, you write in and, and be like hey marvel <laughs> this is how dare you do that to this such and such character what and you know well what if this happened and what if that happened and, and apparently back in the 70s they started to say well hey let's you know let's just noodle around with this and see what happened? I'm looking at the Marvel uh, Wikimedia um, link that goes to the original episode back in 1977, mm-hmm. right? What if, number one, what if Spider-Man joined the Fantastic Four? And he's got this little Spider-Man outfit and there's a little five on his on his chest. Oh, the Fantastic Five, huh? It's pretty funny. But it still works the Fantastic it's still five. an F right. number. They can also do the that's, Fantastic that's right. 15, 14, and um, 50. Right? No. Or the Freedom Foundation. Spiky. Which was actually a thing. Yeah. Um, So, um, and in the comics, right, and apparently this ran until the mid-80s, Iwatu, who was the Watcher. Oh, yeah. um, We've seen in a post-credit scene of, oh, this is going to challenge me. That was the post-credit scene of one of the Thor movies, or was it... Ultron. The post credit scene where Stan Lee's got a great big fishbowl looking astronaut helmet on and he's out in space on some asteroid. He's telling some story. He's in the pans over, right? And it's the Watchers. <laughs> the guys with giant heads. Right? Listen. Um, anywho. Uh, that, I, th- I think it's interesting. Um, is it Jeffrey... No, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Jeffrey Rush. Not Jeffrey Rush. Not at all the same actor. That's going to be the voice of the Watcher. Oh, really? Uh, Iwatu. Iwatu is... Well, someone at home is groaning right now um, listening to this. I'm like, come on, man. Get it straight. Um, hey, we finally if- got a comment on a video that corrected something we said wrong. We uh, were, we were just spouting out ideas of who Dave Batista was playing in Dune, and someone was like, no, he's playing this person. <laughs> so thank you for oh. telling us. That was on the Dune clip. I, I tend to clip off our segments and publish those for the um, people that don't feel like Jeffrey watching. Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Commissioner Gordon Jeffrey Brush is 3, 4.0. Right. Um, Jeffrey Wright will be the voice of The Watcher. Um, star-studded cast here. Yep. 
um, lots and lots of, um, of the the actors, as you pointed out, are going to to lend their voices to this. Some aren't. Um, I know Robert Downey Jr. didn't. Some are. Most are. That's good. Um, Tom Hiddleston, mm-hmm. certainly. Sean Gunn, Frank Grillo, uh, Karen Gillian as Nebula. Michael Douglas is going to be the Ant Man, presumably the original. Um, Hank Pym as Ant Man. Um, Josh Brolin is going to be Thanos. Oh, really? Um, obviously, Haley Atwell um, is a, a featured character as. Um, I, she she introduces herself as Captain Carter, and when I don't know if she's going to be Captain Britain, which seems like a little bit of a conflict of interest because there's already a Captain Britain in Marvel Comics, although this is a what if story. True. Um, so it reminds me of the um, uh, more recently DC did a whole death metal thing, and it was like um, you remember the, that 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 weird cartoon called Heavy Metal. With like the oh, yeah. reasons and the yeah, DC yeah. death metal was all like yeah. they're all wearing like crazy armor and anyway. Mm-hmm. But so let's watch this trailer and then we'll talk about it for a bit. Which actually this will lead us right into Loki. Which this is this is all about. Very Natalie timeless. Portman's going to be chain yeah. Well, she should. She's she's back in the Her MCU story. now. Well, sure. All right. Um, here we go. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. Ah! <sighs> the animation. Do we know each other? Where you want to be? That's the question, isn't it? Every universe. So that's T'Challa. Is different. Each one instead of Peter Quill. Unique. <laughs> that's like we got a half second of Howard Slow the Duck there. But there's a few people in the room that don't understand. Not me. I, I get it. Who are you? The name's Captain Carter. Shaisha! I am the Watcher. There he was. Of all that transpires here. But I do not, cannot. Oh, yeah, the zombies. I meant to mention that. That was a surprise. I guess I have to freestyle then. A ravager never flies solo. <laughs> I said never flies solo. Uh, is that some kind of catchphrase? <laughs> you had me worried for a second. Journey mm-hmm. to face the unknown and ponder the question. Oh, there's the the Disney Plus tag. Is there a post credit scene? Oh no. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so that's going to be that, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to mention this that you got a split second. One of the scenes, little spoiler there, that we might get um, some of the Marvel zombies. Maybe one of the episodes is going to be which, if you if you don't know, Robert Kirkman <laughs> should probably go without saying, right. Um, they, they pulled Robert Kirkman in as a writer. Uh, um, I don't remember who the artists were on this, but it was a, kind of a limited run, sort of a miniseries that Marvel did. That was back in the early 2000s, I think. Look it up on a, the Wikimedia. But it was, you know, essentially it's exactly what it sounds like. You know, what if there was a zombie apocalypse in the Marvel that universe? That happened in DC comics so recently, too. <laughs> zombie... Cap, zombie Wolverine, zombie Spider Man, zombie Tony Stark. Yeah, wait till you. Uh, um, you should check it. Check out DC. Uh, I think. It, I think even Superman succumbed to it. I think Wonder Woman was like the last survivor, but Superman zombified mm-hmm. is 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 not a good thing for the world. 
or the universe. <laughs> no, uh, definitely not. I, I guess you could say the same about uh, Captain Marvel or, or Wanda. But uh, right. Yeah, that looks like that's going to be a lot of fun. The animation style is gorgeous. I, I'm very glad that they're. Looks like they're throwing a lot of money at it. Um, we're going to be get fed very well with animation in the coming years. Uh, um, Snyder is doing a uh, Norse mythology um, series in the uh, or movie or series of animations. Oh, really? And uh, the cast for that is quite extraordinary as well. So. That'll be something to look forward to along with this. And uh, I have not watched The Long Halloween Part 1 yet, but it looks fantastic as well. Neither have I. Right. I definitely want to watch that. Um, We should should plan to see that and and talk about it on a future episode. Um, Probably one of my... It's probably one of my top three of the kind of, you know, novel gravity kind of graphic novels mm-hmm. i guess in in the dc universe as far as they, and and they all tend to be batman titles really the writers you know, love the, them the writing the gravity the story yeah and great story great story um yeah i actually i heard rumor that at one it seems like every batman movie that comes out it's like it's going to be based on the long halloween and i heard that about the reeves one but i haven't heard that since it does have a very freaky riddler in it though mm-hmm. All right, so that is what if, and yeah, that's and the big thing for me is that they announced the date so soon. I, I thought that was like a a while off, but then they're like, that's coming on August eleventh, and Wednesday is now the day for for Marvel shows. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, definitely be talking yeah. about that one. That was a surprise. Mm-hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, since I know we're bouncing around a little bit. We are going to talk about Loki. Mm-hmm. Um, did I? See, was I mistaken? I thought there was an image released of, um, gosh, I'm going to forget the actress's name that played Monica Rambeau um, in WandaVision and is going to be playing, you know, in the upcoming... Um, the Marvels. She's going to be in Captain Marvel too. Yeah, if I'm yeah not that's mistaken. called the Marvels. So it's um, not just going to be her. It's probably also going to be, uh, it's going to be all of them. It's... Spectrum, right? Yeah. Is the the hero that she's portraying, and I thought there was an image released of her either like try, like costume, like her new outfit or something. I may be mistaken though. Um, it could have been just something oh, weird. I did not some, see anything pop invented up. Invented and shared it on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. We'll we'll talk some about the what if as that starts to come out. I think that's going to be good fun. Right. Mm-hmm. Of just uh, a lot of the characters and and things that we've kind of come to know and love and just sort of twisting things and spinning things around and flipping things on their head. And, um, hopefully the, the cast had a good time with it. Um, sounds like it. Yeah. Um, T'Challa, um, taking the place of Peter Quill yep. clearly is a ravager. And that's, uh, funny. that's going to be a little um, bittersweet. It's like kind of hard to watch Avengers end game now because <laughs> whenever yeah. T'Challa shows up, it's like, wow. And this is uh, that's this is Chadwick Boseman's swan song theme. Scene.